should hear the traffic all right, too. Every St. Andrew's Day, colleges and oppidans, ten of each, have a pitched battle known as the Eton Wall Game. Probably no one understands it unless they've played it, but it's clearly a job for he-men. Once they start, they're right up against it. So I may say is any non-Etonian trying to explain the game. Most of it's like this, a sort of a free-for-all with the ball nowhere in sight. Nor at the moment are the goals. One a tree in bad calcs at the slough end of the wall, the other a door in good calcs at the Windsor end. I understand no one scored a goal for about 50 years, but that in no way spoils the fun. Perhaps the most amazing thing is that the wall itself stands up to the pressure. It's a muddy good game, Etonians tell me, and it may have been here that the Battle of Waterloo was won. When it's all over and once again no goal has been scored, the players look pretty well all in. Oof, Waterloo was nothing like this. 